Hey everybody, welcome to Spoiled, the sequel show with Salad Brain. My name is John Boy. I'm Earthworm. I'm Party Bear. And I'm Dak. And we are here to talk about one of my favorite films of all time, Tron Legacy. Yes. yes. And dear God, is this movie amazing. Yeah. I just want to do a real quick thing. I just want you to give like your quick thoughts. Dak, go. I loved it. It's a fantastic movie. It is so fantastic. Okay. Party Bear? Um, I'm, I'm going to spoil my... Spoil my whole ep- podcast, I guess. Uh, best best one we've watched for the Ooh, whole show so far, uh, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this movie, and it's great that we're doing this after Matrix Reloaded. Both of both of these movies are very deep films. Oh yeah, a lot of lore. Yeah, and I love that about it. And so, after just, I mean, I haven't seen it in like ten years, and after rewatching it, I. Every, every single moment, I was like, "Man, this is fucking cool." Yeah. It's just a cool movie. Oh yeah, I like agree. if you just ever thought of a cool movie, I don't even know what. Like every shot, you're like, "Oh, that's nice." <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. I want more of that. And they kept giving it to you. It wasn't just one montage. It was the entire movie of slow motion, of cool CGI, oh, and just nonstop. Ooh, lines. Ooh, cool. Yes, yeah. love it. Nonstop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so cool. He was obviously very nostalgic for John. Oh, of, oh, of course. I yeah, mean, yeah, it, cha- yeah. it changed my young adulthood. Yeah, you. I became it. an adult because of this movie. Well, oh, it was wow. nostalgic for all of us. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah I think uh, we should we should let the audience know. Like for this group, oh. we watched this movie a lot. I saw oh, it in 4D. God. We even made back then before Salad Brain was Salad Brain. We made a short film <laughs> called Tron Re-Rest. Re-Rest. Not saying look that up, but you could kind of have fun with that. You can find it on YouTube. <laughs> it was, dude. I mean, this movie is so cool. It like, is so I, good. Like that's the only way I can say it because it's not the best movie ever, but it, it is just cool. The music, the visuals, the actors. The it visuals. was just awesome. The visuals are great. Absolutely. It's unbelievable. What Every is, shot is perfect. Yes. Oh yeah. I was gonna ask, what is our favorite visual moment of this movie? Oh Jesus. What do you think the best moment visually in this movie is? There are so many. There are so many amazing moments in this movie. Mm-hmm. It's hard to pick just one, but uh, I mean, like you, you, you know, start you start us off if I could. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think the first moment that, as like you know, being nostalgic about this movie, that really got me as a kid was like when we first when we first step into Tron, right? Because it's a it's a normal movie. Like you just see this like kid turn into a a man more or less and he has you know just mm-hmm. he rides a motorcycle cool things and then we step into tron for the first time what what are you saying you're saying we're stepping into tron the that's grid a, that's a person uh, the, the grid. grid on the grid i'm sorry not tron we're just stepping onto the grid that's a good point i'm sorry <laughs> that's I, okay. I was like i was like yeah i was wondering if you were just talking about when the title shows up <laughs> but no you meant the grid it's we're called the grid to the guy no the grid i forgot yeah as a kid i didn't understand yeah. that i was yeah. like tron this is a place no yeah. this is a person it's it's very interesting but no 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 the first time we step onto the grid is just like so cool it was something i was not mm-hmm. expecting and if you guys have seen the first one it was so much infinitely better than the first one oh, uh, visually yeah, the first just one is blew it out bad. of the water you watch that it's, it doesn't hold up it does not it's so dry absolutely so, not yeah that's it, a good it, the it, shots are too long so in that one dry. it is very dry even the music in that movie is just like minimal and it's like the sound effects are from the eighties. You can tell. Oh, yeah. Lots sure. of like bleeps and bloops. Oh that's my about god! It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like let's RPG talk about. I mean, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, Party Bear. What's your favorite moment from this movie? Uh, from the shot um, visually. Shit, that's a hard one. It I, is a hard it's one. really hard love, for me to, I, to decide. Honestly. I love the light cycle scene. Oh yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. That and that's a kind of a cop out to choose, yeah. but I think but it's, it's awesome. Just so cool. So good. And, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go a little different route, and I actually really liked a lot of the scenes that happened before they even got into the grid. I thought him mm. on his motorcycle getting chased oh. by the cop is really cool visually. And then that. as and when we get to the arcade, that whole part is really mm-hmm. awesome visually and yeah. just the mood and the setting mm-hmm. and getting into the grid. It was all very exciting, which they did actually a really good job. I think the setting and the mood with the scenes prior to being on the grid, it was very dark and the tone was yeah. like the whole mm-hmm. setting was dark, you know, it was all at it, night. It kind of seemed like they were shooting the grid, but in real life. Like, yeah. Yes. Very, yeah. like this whole movie to me seems like a lot of lines. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like yeah. literally like physical lines. Yeah, oh definitely. It's right. very, you know, like boom, boom, boom. You can kind of see what they were doing. Yeah. I think my favorite shot would be probably right before the light cycle starts and then that, that like circular, uh, 
thing comes down, they go doosh, 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 doosh. And oh, then yeah. like Rinsler comes down oh, on that thing. Yeah. Yes. And you're like, yeah, yeah. give me more of that. Yeah. Rinsler. Yeah. Can I change my answer? I think my yeah. favorite mm-hmm. moment, uh, not when we first step onto the grid, but when yeah. we first see the light cycle in slow motion. Oh, when he oh, oh, opens God. that up. There's never been a moment in my entire life I've wanted that more. So Because he, he goes, it's what do I do with so this? Cool. And he goes, not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes. Yeah. Oh, so great. By the and way, that character is hilarious. Poof. And just fucking yeah. flies through that. And the CG, I mean, this this came out in 2011. Yep. It still holds up. It's, it's still a little yeah. good. I mean, the only Not thing that doesn't hold up is, is Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Bridges. <laughs> Jeff, yeah. yeah, young Jeff Bridges. <laughs> It looks Young like, it looks like a PS3 game. Yeah, it's not it good enough. But a PS3 cutscene. Yeah. PS4 looks better yeah. than it now. For sure it does. Yeah. Young Jeff Bridges. But, and man, God, can we just not get enough of Jeff Bridges? I want oh, more of uh, him. They, well, they give it to you. They two of them two. in this two. one. Yeah. Young two and more. old. And let's we're not gonna jump ahead of ourselves, but they get yeah. really like, you know, they get, get down. Jeff on Jeff in the I mean. It's called reintegration. Jeff. Well, I gotta bring up before we get too far, yes. we're talking about the CG and Earthworm brought up uh, when they're outside of the grid. There's a falling scene, the base oh, jump scene. Oh, that's cool! Oh my god! Um, so and cool. we gotta always talk about the falling scenes. Yes, oh. but he's falling for a long. Yes. Yeah, he, fe- he, time. he fell for a long oh, time. Forever. And then, and then, if he was opening the chute that oh, late, my god, he's no. not gonna make it. No, no but way. he did get super <laughs> How bruised. Tall is that yeah. Remember, that, he that's did. true. Yeah. So, but, but he also got caught on a. He got light caught post. on a light, and yeah. then got yeah. caught by the cops. Yeah. yeah. And really cool how that scene. Is then replicated him being caught by the cops in the yeah, grid. That's right. When yeah. that when that ship, I forget what it's called, but actually the, the recognizer, the recognizer. Yeah. And then it's so cool because the ground is is it's all mm-hmm. like pe- pentagons or yeah, or, yeah right. or whatever hexagon. Yeah, hexagons. Actually, that's what I love. And like they that. were all falling out, and so he mm-hmm. couldn't get out. Oh, it was super that cool. The visual cool effects moment. of this movie are fucking unbelievable. Crazy. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. I believe the director's name was Joseph Kowalski. I don't know. And I, I think this so. is I th- maybe his first or second movie ever that he ever did. Oh, my and God. And, like, on a big budget. Oh, my God. And then he made Oblivion right after, which I thought was cool with Tom Cruise. I enjoyed I that one. It. It, was, it was good. But you can just tell, man, there is such a vision in this movie. Yeah. Such a vision. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just wanted more. I wanted to keep... Sorry. That's okay. I just wanted to keep going and going and going. <laughs> and then, like, you see uh, when he, when, he, when uh, uh, Sam... Sam Flynn just right get, he gets into the grid and he doesn't know what's going on and then those four girls walk up to him and start putting oh, that shit yeah. on right. him and they're like that suit they, they, yeah and they just get ready and then they walk backwards as they it, it's just yeah. so cool it's yeah. a total like, theme like they it's it's hard to replicate that kind of like I always say it's cool it's a cool movie mm-hmm. right I want to see how and just the that. it's just the suits and everything and when I was 17 18 I bought everything. I bought the discs. Yeah. I bought the suits. Oh, I yeah. made my yeah. own suit for the yeah. midnight premiere. Uh, yeah. I saw that movie like five or six times. Saw it in 4D. Like it was. It just at, and at, the music yeah, too. At, it at just Disneyland. Oh, Daft Daft Punk. Punk. They yeah. had that. That's like, right. End of the line yep. clubs. Yes. Sort of thing. Oh, yes. And and I, I went to that dope. all the time. That was so cool. That was the coolest thing. It was so one awesome. of the first movies, movies to have like a, a like a physical mm-hmm. aspect that we can go and experience. Exactly, too, right? More than just yeah, the really movie. felt like yeah. that. More and they had dancers and the music too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think it's because the, and and this is something that we'll we'll want to maybe talk about some more, or we could talk about it now. But how this movie was set up to be the first of a trilogy, oh my and gosh. you could feel like the push that Disney was trying to do to mm-hmm. make it like a big movie. Mm-hmm. And this is like right after Marvel Cinematic Universe starts. Yes. And mm-hmm. so you get what they're trying to do and they're trying to figure out their way and you got Cillian Murphy in this That's film. Right. In yes. the boardroom. Yep. In the boardroom. And he, mm-hmm. I mean, they, they didn't yeah. pay him that much Kinda to just sit in a boardroom and not do anything. Right. Yeah. And he never comes back. So you, uh, there were so many th- think... so many promises for future things. And Yeah, and at the end, when Cora and Sam drive off together, like I the thought ending... like the next one would be like maybe the ISOs come back out yeah. or there's some sort of there some there, sort of there absolutely was another movie. Sure. Be- Cillian Murphy was going to get into, yeah. uh, into and the comp. By the way, speaking of that, Disney, um, you know, obviously wanted it to be a trilogy, a, mm. you know, a huge thing, and it didn't make enough money, it didn't which not. is something to think about. We were talking about how amazing and cool this movie is, right? Mm. And, like, did not that many people feel that way about this? And why did we feel that way if not a lot of people felt that way? I just think because Tron was resurrected from the 80s, and this was before there was this big 80s nostalgia boost, which we have now. Yeah. Everything now is 80s, 80s, 80s. 
the new Wonder Woman, the 80s. Well, here's Everything the is thing. Just 80s. Here's the thing is that it doesn't actually do any 80s callbacks. It doesn't. Know? This new like, one does. I guess it's just a little bit in the arcade you get it, mm-hmm. but it really is sounds. it Some really is a futuristic movie. Yes. Like it doesn't try to lean on the 80s at all. Mm-hmm. It Thank feels God. like I'm, yeah. I'm glad they didn't do that. Yeah. But I just don't think that this movie really hit that, you know, massive audience as they wish they did. Mhm. But it did hit that kind of niche, like ooh, sci-fi, kind of computers, Definitely. and and it it just fucking worked, man. At least for me, it just worked, and it was just so cool watching that. Like going through like the last year of my high school year, I was like, man, this movie is fucking cool. It's just cool, <laughs> man. Everything about it is cool. And Jeff Bridges is one of my favorite actors of all time. And to see him, let's talk about him. He kills it in this movie. Oh yeah, he does do a great job. He absolutely. kills it. Yeah. Absolutely fucking yeah, because he, he gets it. to play like a basically like a monk. Yes, right. right. I mean, like yes. this character that is uh, is wise and and uh, yeah, yeah, and it's such a great perfect role for him. Yeah, well, and and another thing is he got to play two characters in this movie. Which That's is true. Cool, That's which a very is very good point. cool. Yeah, because yeah. the other one is the opposite. Yes, the opposite. the only downside of this movie is the uh, the poor CG. Of the yeah, right, yeah. Just, it it just doesn't imagine? it doesn't look good. He looks too smooth. You're talking about Clue, talking about uh, well, yeah. Also, yeah. Young Jeff Bridges in real life when he's talking to Sam oh, in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. and scene. also Clue. Yeah. yeah, and Clue is the villain. So you mean you have this person that looks like a cutscene from PS3, being yeah. the mean guy. I don't know. I, I I will say the hair was beautiful. So I'm I oh. I don't know exactly how they do it, but it blows in the wind perfectly. Like it's yeah. actual hair. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they spent more time on the hair than the face. I think. I I, I, just, I I think it was someone's real head. I agree. And then oh, they they were just CGI changing the just yeah. the face. Do you think it was Jeff Bridges and they like he's I, wearing? I do him? not. I do not think so. I think they probably had him no. say the lines, mm-hmm. and then they had someone there that was the right age and and type because they would have to change too much about yeah. Jeff Bridges, Back like then, his yeah. gait, his walk, like or I guess those right. are the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but seri- yeah, there's there's too much about Jeff Bridges that you'd have to change. It was probably a double. If 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 they made this movie nowadays, it would it would be seamless. Mm-hmm. Cuz they do oh, de-aging definitely. all the time. Yeah, now, yeah, now with Marvel, you know, you do, do there's that. so many things. Deep fake is something that people can just, you know, do at just home. Just do at home, yeah. Let it's it render. decent. It's probably just as good as this was. Mm-hmm. Well, we never said are, so are they making a third one? No. 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 They it's stopped canned. because it and did that, not make yeah. enough money. Yeah. It, they're it's not going to do it, and that would have been the second in the new trilogy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Which no, they're is, not. There, there is no plans to do it. I wish they did, man, because that. Yeah. I don't know what they because it would be, be probably based in reality, which would probably make it a little weird. Because I love the grid, I love how it looked. Yeah, I they, love just they, like the they, storms yeah. that was always happening. You know, they'd the, have the, to take you back. Honestly. Of course, they would have. That's, to. And then, that's like, the okay, what would you make the second movie about? Like, that's a good oh, point geez. too. It's like we, it, you don't want to put it too much outside because obviously everyone loves the grid. Mm-hmm. But what is going to be happening that's different on the grid now? Okay, they've like they clue is gone, but so is the maker, and now it's just like the rest of the well, world. It's going to be about Tron. But, yeah, or the Sam. son of Flynn. Yeah, the son of Flynn will be the new like he's gonna have to take this role where he's considered a god. Yeah, now you he's know? the ma- new maker, User. Yeah. essentially yeah. the son of and the maker. I, I, so I want to keep talking and I want to get to a little bit of that, but let's talk about our favorite scenes. Okay. of this film. Okay, yeah. that's um, great. Does anyone want to start or should I'll I? start? Okay, I think my uh, my favorite scene, just because it sticks with me for so long, is when. There's uh, that uh, program walking past all those other programs going, games, games, (laughs) games. It's like, not the games, not the games, not the games, not the games, not the games. 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 Then he jumps off and hits that fan and just explodes (laughs) and he gets derezzed. Oh man, it's so cool. You learn so much about the world. Exactly. And and that's what it does. It doesn't, it doesn't like, it's, it's not like, check out this world. Don't you love it? It's so subtle. When oh, they have the world. so many of those it's moments so of subtle. check out the world. Don't you love it, though? Well, because the world speaks but it, for but itself. But it's subtle. Yeah, but it's true. subtle. I it's suppose. all visual. It's not It's not telling you everything. It's like, oh, the recognizers, those machines are flying through. They're yeah, not we like, didn't get an explanation this is a recognizer. of what they are. Yeah. This is what they do. They suck up programs, and they tell you if you can get derezzed or not. Yeah. Like, it's just it just fits perfectly. And Sam is the person that we are with, and we're experience, experiencing it with him yeah. Yeah. throughout the whole thing. He's like, what is this machine? Oh, to the games, rectify to the games, games, you know, and then he gets brought into the disc games, which is a fucking great scene. Yeah, I think Hell I was yeah. going to say that might be, I mean, 
it's tough to say what the best scene is for mm. me, but I those disc games are it's so, so cool. very cool. So he's like, cool. I have a yeah. six inch six inch figure of you. Yeah, and he starts throwing. He's like, you didn't do that. Yeah, and he starts. Beep, beep, beep. I think everything's the, flying around. It's like, man, that is cool. The fight between Rinsler and him. Oh yeah, just just oh, when he pulls man. out those double blade, yeah. he goes full Darth Maul on that. Yeah, thing. it's like the first glimpse that we have of this is going to yes. be fucking awesome. Yes, and they don't say anything. It's all shown because they don't say this is Tron. They don't no. say that. It's yeah, yeah, all yeah. shown either through flashback or just through storytelling. Yeah. And they did a very, very good job of just making this movie so visual. So visual. Well, you know, something which is hard to find nowadays. Is that they do say that they do do the eventually, whole thing. Eventually. They're like, this is Tron, because in the beginning he gives them the whole action figure and he's yeah. like, dun, 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 Tron. Tron. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so they do that. But then And then he does assume. when he's flying over at one point say yes. Yes. Tron. Yeah, he's like Tron. What happened to you, Tron, or something yeah, right. like that? Um, Rensler. Do you have a favorite scene? Um, I I really like the disc scene too. Like yeah. I said before, yeah. I like the I like the light cycle scene. I like yep. the yeah, I like the light yeah. uh, plane scene yep. where they're Towards flying the light jets. <laughs> oh um, yeah. I yeah. yeah I like the action stuff. I do. I guess the scene that I really want to talk about the most. I can't say it's my favorite scene because of something that I want to talk about the most is the part with Zeus. You know that oh, yes. in the oh, bar. Man. I hate that guy so much. Uh, uh, yeah. Michael we're, Sheen. We're, we're definitely going to get to why Michael Sheen is the worst character in the really? whole film. Worst. Really? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely. I think agree. he's the worst. The no. worst character in the whole film. I, think so. I don't think so. Hands down. I don't think there's uh, who's worse than him. The bald dude. Who he's not. He's not as bad the bald dude. He's okay. Yeah, he's like trying to fucking suck Clue's cock the entire time, and we all know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has way less. No, he has way. He has less lines. Dude, I love Michael Sheen's character. I love Zeus. I love him. I like the so other guy the, more than Salvation's Zeus. for everyone. And he's like, don't, 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 don't shoot oh, with his cane. Gosh. Come on. He's I just think like, the cool. guy who's not it, that. You know, that yeah. guy has more. I love character. that guy. Yeah, but he's better than Zeus. I think. So. No. <laughs> I, I think he's the him. worst. I almost had you. He almost got me. No, I almost had you. I mean, that line did suck. But no, I, I really don't like uh, Michael. I, I like Michael Sheen's character. I want to know why you guys don't. Uh, I think it's just, it's over the top in a bad way. Like it, it it, is. he, w- I wasn't laughing. I was just like, he's just goofy. Yeah, and it didn't fit with the world at all. I agree. There, there's a point later when he's being handed the drink and mm-hmm. everything. That's a really great scene with Clue, and him interacting with Clue is great. Yeah. But it's him like being just this. It Eccentric. just didn't feel like a character that fits in mm. in this world at all. Yeah, and he, he just reminded me of like a cat in a hat versus yeah. like mixed yeah. with. Don't say that. Cat in a hat. Oh, yeah. mixed you don't with, mean that. Mixed no, with yeah. Willy Wonka. Perfect. Yeah. It's like. Ooh, it's, yeah. yeah, and it was just bad, and he's just like twirling his cane around it just, it, and like. Yeah, I that. agree. You know, I love that. you know, John Boy really harped on everything fitting so well into the theme of this. I think he is one of the few things that actually stick out that don't fit so that well. Don't into fit the into it. Doesn't fit the world, and, and he is a program, so maybe it doesn't. See, that's yeah, what I was going to ask. Is he a program? He's he got a program, hundred okay. percent. Because there's only one ISO. But why are they? Why and is also he, when they? Why is he and Jem and those other? three chicks that they would never learn their names yeah why are they different like why are they dressed well, in all white and have different jobs and stuff well it's just because that's their that's their program it's right program, their program, and i don't know what his program is is it to be like a he's not like a even a bartender or something like, like yeah. that no he's just like i like it <laughs> yeah i really i, like I think that's scene. something interesting that could have been explored in more movies is what it means and l- this is going to get to what my favorite scene is um which is we're talking about the end because oh, we gotta we gotta get I there yes. but yeah, there's this moment where right before the big, big ending that we'll talk about. Um, so you have Sam, son of Flynn, and you have Clue. And mm-hmm. both of them, in a way, are the, the son, son of, of Flynn. Yeah, right. And there's a moment where Clue is like looking at, after he's tricked a Clue, because yes. just to give a little bit of background, Clue is looking to get uh, the disc, Flynn's disc. From Kevin. Yeah. And... Cora secretly hot, hot. gives uh, the disc, her disc to Flynn. Mm-hmm. And Ooh. there's a moment where Clue takes it from him and realizes, oh, it's Cora. And he looks at him and he's like, what, what did you do? Why? And he's like, he's my son. Yeah. He's my son. And yeah. it's a moment where, like, if they had better CG on Clue, I could imagine that Clue is thinking, like, but I'm your son. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that yeah. was just a really yeah. deep moment in the whole film that I think I would have loved it if the film explored it more, how if b- there could have been more tension mm-hmm. that worked around, like we're both, the, yeah. the, we're in a sense, we're brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, 
And I, I think Clue is one of the, a, a really great villain because he thinks he is right. Mm-hmm. He thinks what he yeah. is doing is correct. He doesn't he doesn't want this weird grid thing to go out of control because he he's in control. He is in control yeah. because Kevin Flynn is in hiding. And so Clue is just this one in control, and he's the one with the balls in his hand, okay. taking control yeah. of Rinsler and uh-huh. shit like that. Who is Tron? Yeah. You find out. I just think Clue is Clue is a great villain, and I wish we saw more of him, but we we won't anymore because guess what? You know what it's, happens to him? What what was it called again? Reintegration. Yeah. Uh. With Jeff Bridges himself, they get sucked into each other, and then they just, I think they explode at the end. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. It's like a nuclear bomb yeah. that yeah. blows up everything. But my yeah. question is, could he have done that at any point in the movie? Just like reintegrated. I mean, yes, but he then if he, I mean, if he had he, Kevin's he disc, his own life, right? I mean, does I mean that's that's the whole thing. It's like I, the yeah, ending, he killed himself. Everyone's like, uh, does Flynn yeah. live? Now those shirts, Flynn lives. Flynn lives. You know, it's like, does he? You know, did yeah. he kill himself? Yeah. So does does he though? Because well, that that would have been does. something explored in further movies. Uh, I right. I would imagine that the world is the and the story is better off if Jeff Bridges is gone now. I think so. Like I think that I think everything gets better if that if we can accept that he did die there and there isn't some like, oh, he's in hiding again. Like we just, we deal with the same thing again. So I I think the story did actually kill him. I think so too. Um, Yeah. I think it's hard to imagine that whatever happened didn't, or maybe he becomes like a, a voice in the world, like almost like he, because he is, in the movie, kind of like a Jesus type character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then maybe he would then after that selfless sacrifice become a God like character in, yeah, and more omnipotent. Yes. Um, yes. And I think that's also really interesting. I like how religion is a part of it. Oh, yeah. Much sure. like Matrix Reloaded was too. I think sci-fi is perfect for exploring these themes mm. without being obvious yeah without being i mean it, it we can both movies were obvious yes. Yes. like there is once, like a once whole you look beyond yeah watching you can it, really you look beyond the layer it's definitely obvious yeah. of what they're trying to yeah. portray but i love sacrificing I love when doing yourself for something else no i think tron legacy is a fucking fantastic movie i love it i absolutely love it i will re- if it's ever on tv which is never I would stop Never. what I'm doing. Disney Plus. That. That's how I saw it. Disney Plus. <laughs> it's how we all watched it. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Watched it. Yeah. Oh, and you so, probably have it on Blu-ray. Uh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a very big part of my young adulthood. I don't know if you guys want to give your ratings right now. I. And yeah. would you recommend it? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, you want to start that? Yeah. I'm t- obviously ten out of ten. Ten out oh, of ten. Wow. I highly recommend it because, like, whoa, that's bold. Yeah, I mean, like, we we said so many things. You can't shut up about how cool it is. Obviously, it's cool. There are so many good moments. There's there's set up for other movies, which makes me sad as a fan. But like, yeah. it's just good. It is. It's really visually. I love the plot. I do. There's very few things whoa. that I don't like about it. Oh my god, it. we didn't talk about the music. Oh, oh and I, the tra- music? Punk. I tried to bring it up. Oh my god, it, the music. I hate to interrupt, so but holy good. shit, oh, that's right. a huge You're part right. of it. It's a huge part of it. Absolutely, yeah. it's great soundtrack. It's, it's unbelievable. The, sets it's, the mood. Fifty percent of the movie. Yeah, is absolutely. That soundtrack. It's, it's nonstop. Yes. Beautiful. So good. Yes. That downbeat. It's like oh god. It's like good house techno. Uh, I'd yeah. say. And, and they have Daft Punk kills it. And they have a cameo. Yeah, and they, they do. Have a and the Zeus scene. Yeah. yeah, in yeah. the Zeus scene. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's why so that scene good, isn't yeah. a piece of shit because Daft Punk is in it. Hello. Yeah, well, yeah, for like a split second. But, but that good, no, though. it's a great point. Music is so good. It's, it's so it's so the important, theme. especially with Absolutely. like the music and and because it's in a computer. So of course you're gonna want Daft Punk yeah. being it because I don't know who decided do. that Daft Punk Daft Punk was gonna be a part of it, but whoever did props that, to them give them a raise. That is perfect. It is so. I remember I bought I bought the the CD actually. Uh, I bought the the soundtrack on CD, and I got something called Tron. It's not re-resed. It was like remixed or something, and it was all these other uh, electronic artists who remixed all those songs. And I bought yeah. that on CD too. I remember, that. and I was playing that in my car. I'm like, fuck, it's good. On your way here, we were talking about how you could just jam to that music. It's oh, so dude, it's, good. It's, it's awesome. start to speed. You start. Yeah, yeah you go 90 you, miles per hour. Every it's time like you, you want to especially ride a light night. cycle. Yeah. Night on yeah. the freeway, listening yeah. to that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> honestly, yeah, driving in LA to this soundtrack, yeah, oh, it's gonna blow it, it'll yeah. blow your mind. That's yeah. awesome. All right, Game let's changer. let so, yeah, I guess, yeah, you're right. Another great, absolutely great point is yeah. the music is so amazing, just yeah, you know, solidifying my answer being a 10 out of 10. There's no aspect about this movie rewatching it that I did not like, yeah, such good elements. Um, I mean, I feel like I want to give it a nine out of ten, but if I don't give it a, a ten out of ten, and you guys both give it a ten out of ten, I'm not I'm giving it the, a ten. Okay, out of 10. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. I also 
very much hit my mic and I also <laughs> <laughs> very much enjoyed the film. Um, I love Jeff Bridges as well. Yep. Um, very nostalgic movie for all of us. Yeah. Just brought back so many memories. Yep. I forgot a lot of it. Honestly, I haven't watched it in a really long time. So I forgot all about it. And then when I rewatched it, every like every five minutes, I was like, oh, my God, I remember why <laughs> exactly. I fucking love this movie. It looks so cool. Yeah. It looks yeah, so yeah, cool looks so every good. single time. So, um, so nine. Yeah. All nine right. out of ten for me as well. Nice. Um, I, I There are, obviously, there are things I can see about this, and I can imagine some things being better. And mm. I can imagine it even being better if it was set up to be even more contained mm-hmm. than it was. But overall highly recommend super enjoyable absolutely will blow your mind if you're looking for a deep sci-fi it has that it also has mm-hmm. action that mm-hmm. is great great visual effects in a sense lore. it's almost a, ro- a romance as well yeah you know there's oh, there's Cora. comedy yeah. a little comedy to this <laughs> we didn't talk about Cora. Oh, and okay. i don't really oh. want to hear should we go oh. john oh. Weiss, we'll think about Cora. sorry okay oh, man. what's oh, man. uh what's your rating mine would also be nine out of ten wow yeah. uh there are problems with the movie i will not you know, I will not say that there isn't because, of course, every movie has issues. I don't care. <laughs> uh, Dak, Dak's willing to say there care. isn't. He doesn't care. <laughs> I but don't no, care. I think I this, this movie, movie is absolutely incredible on whatever it does and how it does it. I just wish, obviously, at the time, the CGI with uh, yeah. the Jeff Bridges' face yeah, yeah. could have been better. But I really do think this is one of the greatest sci fi films we have had at least in the last decade and a half. Yeah. So I say, I highly recommend. And I think this is probably the best movie we've watched on Spoiler. Definitely. It, it is, yeah. So it, it definitely Absolutely. is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. But what can beat it? Who knows? Shrek 2! <laughs> Shrek 2, probably. <laughs> Shrek 2. I'm Honestly, excited. probably Shrek 2 could beat I it. I love Shrek. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, we're going to sign off now. My name is John Boy. I'm Earthworm. I am Party Bear. And I'm Dak. And thank you for listening to Spoiled, the sequel show with Salad Brain. Ha, 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 ha.